Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Kristen and Nicole's rivalry resurfaces what does it signify for Jude the stolen baby story? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Kristen DiMera will enrage Nicole DiMera the week of April 8th to 12th. When Kristen learns more about Holly Jonas's behavior, she will become enraged with the lying teenager for creating so many issues. Fans of DOOL may remember that Kristen still harbors affections for Teresa Donovan because she once stole her embryo and gave birth to Tate Black, also known as Christopher DiMera. Tate is, of course, Brady Black's son and the adored older brother of Rachel Black, Finley Rose Slater. Given that Tate's experiences have impacted both Rachel and Brady, Kristen won't be pleased with anything he has gone through. Day spoilers state that Nicole will jump to her daughter's aid as soon as Kristen unleashes her entire fury on Holly. Nicole is obviously not happy with Holly's actions either, but that doesn't mean she will put up with Kristen's criticism. Viewers of Days are aware that Kristen has committed even worse crimes, such as the time she impersonated Nicole while donning a mask. Once this rivalry rekindles, it's easy to see Nicole and Kristen revisiting parts of their messy past. Maybe in light of everything going on with Sloane Peterson Brady and the story of the stolen baby, the animosity between Kristen and Nicole will come into play. If Kristen finds out that Sloane is raising Nicole's little son, she might be less likely to come clean because Nicole and Kristen are at odds once more. That will be particularly true if Sloane acknowledges Jude Brady's true fatherhood and tells Kristen that he isn't even the biological kid of E.J. DeMera. Since this child isn't a DeMera, Kristen might decide not to tell anyone if she learns of Sloane and Melinda Trask's plot. Though she might still save that information for a rainy day, just in case, Kristen might even be impressed. In summary, Days is likely preparing to begin a new phase of Nicole and Kristen's feud for a purpose. Could it be related to Jude's secret being stolen? When Kristen finds out this stunning information, will she keep quiet about Nicole's retaliation? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Kristen and Nicole's conflict may eventually reach new heights, so we'll be bringing you more drama predictions. Lucas's Search for Freedom, Kate's Risky Escape Scheme? Lucas Horton, whose freedom depends on supplying information that results in an arrest, will not be pleased with this. Lucas has left prison and is currently hiding. But Lucas cannot continue to live this way. It presumably feels no different to Lucas than a cozier jail cell. Could Kate Roberts Brady take on a risky quest to aid Lucas, because she is long overdue for a front-burning storyline? According to teasers for Clyde Weston's escape from DOOL, Lucas agreed to spy on Clyde while he was incarcerated. But that strategy backfired, and Lucas suffered a severe beating. Kate held Steve Burton's Harris Michaels responsible for Lucas's release from jail and hotel stay. The only issue was that, legally speaking, Lucas was not present. It doesn't help that Lucas' future is uncertain, because Clyde has now escaped. Lucas cannot spend the rest of his life in hiding behind four walls. While there is the advantage of privacy and often far more comfortable mattresses at hotels, it's still not better than being incarcerated. According to spoilers on Days of Our Lives, Harris appears to have forgotten about Lucas. Actually, it appears that everyone has. Well, the week of April 1, 2024, we'll see Lucas back in the spotlight. Kate teases that she will guarantee her son's freedom once more. Lucas's life cannot be easy when it is put on weight like this. Everyone was expecting Clyde to be eliminated. Nobody anticipated that Clyde would make off with disgraced ex-cop Goldman. When Kate makes a commitment, she doesn't give up until the task is completed. This is particularly valid in regards to Kate's offspring. Kate hasn't had an intriguing and captivating plot for a very long time. Could Kate take the lead and get Lucas into a foreign nation by smuggling him out of Salem? Will Kate and Lucas meet some unexpectedly well-known people on their adventure? What steps do you believe Kate will take to ensure Lucas's freedom? Will Kate set off on a perilous mission? Could Kate and Lucas find themselves in the company of some well-known individuals? Anything can happen in this soap opera, so pay attention. Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. 
Don't forget to keep watching Peacock Soap Opera to see what happens next. Stephanie tells Julie at the Horton residence about Jada's accusation that she disregarded Everett's marriage-related indicators. She questions her own assertions. Julie is positive she isn't. Stephanie wavers between being angry with Everett and showing enough compassion for his situation. Julie advises her to let go of him. She needs to look for herself and rely on her family, they will support her through this. Chad shows up to see the newly renovated bedroom of Thomas and Charlotte. When Everett, in a state of hypnosis, sees his mother Helen near a brook, he beams broadly. She is amazing, graceful, and powerful, in his words. She like baking, he remembers. Everett's visage becomes twisted and his smile disappears as Marlena asks if he has anything he'd like to ask her. Mom, why did you do that? Marlena comforts him that he is safe, while his anxiety increases. Everett objects and cuts to a black and white snapshot of himself with a menacing expression. Harris enjoys French toast that Ava made while lying in bed. She recommends they have a quiet meal at the shuttered bistro as she is craving pasta. In between kisses, they decide on the menu, but since he has her, Harris doesn't need an expensive dinner. He gives her a long, kissing kiss. They decide that visiting the bistro is a good idea because they have been burning a lot of calories and will burn a lot more. But they'll take a shower together first. Chad returns after seeing the kids' room and gives it an amazing evaluation. Chad questions Stephanie about Everett slash Bobby after Julie explicitly states that she will leave them alone. She tells him that she is considering leaving her position as the PR agency for the publication. Instead, he offers to terminate Everett. She advises him against doing it, at least not just now. While discussing the house, Chad places the blame on himself for both the fire and Clyde's escape. Stephanie reassures him that it's not his fault and suggests that he seek support from everyone who loves him. Stephanie is out to meet with a possible new customer when Julie comes back with sandwiches. When Chad and Julie are alone, he apologizes for the house. She tells him that he is not to blame. For a split second, she held him responsible, but she was mistaken. As he talks about seeing Abby's tomb, he starts to cry. He feels like he's failing sometimes, and other days he thinks he's doing the best he can for the kids in the absence of their mother. It's one of those days today. He sobs, I miss her so much all the time. She assures him that his family is supporting him. She is rebuilding the house for that reason. It is a sign of hope, love, and family. In Marlena's office, Everett tells her through gasping breaths that all he sees is blackness. His features twitch and his eyelids clench tightly. After removing him from hypnosis, Marlena queries what he recalled. He says it's fuzzy while defending his position. She advises that during his subsequent session, they address whatever is preventing him. He nods firmly and quickly leaves. At the pub, Stephanie discovers Everett enjoying a drink by himself. While in hypnosis, he tells her, he saw something that terrified the living daylights out of him.